the game. Game two between Karate and Doty here in the Reality Defined Winners Tournament Group B um, to see who will advance into the semifinals. So uh, we have orange and red. So I am going to ally uh, Doty, or sorry, Karate, and shift tab tab it. So we have Karate as the yellow Zerg in the bottom right, and Doty as the red Protoss in the top right. Doty is currently down 0-1 uh, in this best of three that uh, requires all three matches to be played, regardless of, of who wins the first two games. <coughs> Our non-standard best of three. So I would like to give a shout out to uh, the team Reality Defined for organizing slash sponsoring this tour. Um, uh, big shout out to XTS, who is actually currently in the hospital. He's going to be in the hospital for like a week um, with an undisclosed illness. So... Uh, Everybody wish him good luck. And of course, huge shout out to Remelia for putting in an extra $100 into our prize pool. So we now have a total of $300 in the prize pool. Uh, I believe the individual prizes are $175 for first place, $75 for second, and $50 for third place. And it looks like the first probe will scout in the right direction. I'm... Okay, never mind. No, that's very that's, that's standard. Um... I was getting a little bit ahead of myself there. Uh, he should send the next probe that pops out to build uh, the forge. Uh, well, I guess not if he... If, nope, never mind. He's going to go and build a nexus because it's probably going to be a 12 patch. And... There it goes, the drone. He should send a second one. No, he's actually just going to throw down a spawning pool. It's going to be a 12 pool. Knowing that his uh, hatchery would get blocked, he is just going to uh, send... He's just going to build a spine pool. I'm getting distracted because I know Keontae is going to start trolling it up. He's going to start trolling it up after after I said that sponsor shout out. Keontae! Keontae! Nobody listened to Keontae. He's just jealous. And we do have a Nexus going down in response to this 12 pool. I believe it is safe. Uh, although, I mean, 12 pool is fairly uncommon. So I'm not 100% sure on the timings, but I think it's safe. And it looks like still blocking this hatchery. I really wish I could see how much money Karate has saved um, to see exactly how much damage this, uh, this probe is doing. And there, finally, the hatch goes down. So Bunny is actually almost finished. He is uh, saving Larva. I don't know if that was just because he needed the money for the hatchery. No, he's going to pop all three. So those might actually all be Zerglings. And what is this forge positioning? Oh my... What the... Doni, man, you got to work on your walls. This is definitely not... Not correct forge placement. I'm pretty sure that in this position you can do like the fighting spirit stall uh, placement where you can do like forge on the left and gateway against this cliff. I mean, it's a little bit angled, but I'm pretty sure you can still do it. But Dodi instead going for this really, really ugly wall in. He's like, he's like mega protecting the forge. He's like, I will absolutely not lose my forge. I really want plus one. I am not, I am not going to lose, lose my forge. <laughs> Uh, however, the Nexus is actually almost finished, and the hatchery is like two-thirds of the way done, so uh, he's, he's in pretty good position. Five probes on the attack! How awesome would it be if he just like sent those five probes to the Zerg base? Oh man, that would be cool. Uh, not splitting them up, though. Uh, should do that. He's also got not too many probes. Actually, I think that might be okay. Meanwhile, the uh, Zerg is taking his third base here. Um, I think actually on the you know on the original version of Dante's Peak, I think there was actually no gas here, um, so so this would be a mineral only. So Zerg would re prefer taking this base, but uh, yeah, Dun they changed Dante's Peak quite a bit actually. Like originally this ramp wasn't here, this was like the only entrance into this base. Um, I'm not 100 sure how that affects the balance really, because uh, I I don't watch that much Pro League. Interestingly, uh, Dodi cancelled his second cannon. I think that's actually really smart. Um, he didn't see any links he, and. Uh, so he just canceled that. Meanwhile, fourth hatchery going down. Karate, is he doing four hatch? Karate! Karate doing the four hatch Hydra build! Rut row! Four hatch Hydra incoming. Uh, Overlord is also going to go into the base and see what's up. Uh, whoa, I don't know what my camera's doing there. I just like scrolled into the middle of nowhere. However, there is a probe that's going to scout the third base. I didn't actually see where that probe came from because I'm bad at observing, guys. Uh, although, in all seriousness, Seriously, any anyone who's always like, oh, how could they miss that drop? You guys have to like try casting and obsing at the same time. This is hard. Like, major props to to all. Actually, you know what? Like, because if you think about it, like most uh, tournaments, you know, the obs is separate from the casters. 
So I'm just gonna gonna do a little slash brag right there. Pat myself on the back. Good job, Sale. Good job. Um, but oh man, bad job, Karate. Oh, he's gonna block it. Oh, whoa. I was gonna say if he let that probe in, that would be pretty bad. But uh, Doty is gonna see this uh this fourth hatchery here. And actually, while the probe is going out, three zealots here uh, gonna send these pr send these drones home. However, I don't think they'll uh, do significant damage. Um, probably just a few extra links being made. He's actually gonna use the drone supply. He's just gonna try and take it out right here. Um, Dodi, uh, is he gonna clean it up? It looks like he will. Zealots are pretty good. He's also forcing more zerglings. He might do well to just focus down a couple of these drones. No, he's sending in more zealots. He's actually rallying zealots in right now. Oh my god, he kills all the zerglings. What the hell? He's got a 5 kill zealot! If he gets his hatchery, my mind will actually be blown! Oh my... These zealots... <laughs> Dodi's not messing around! The Hydra then is down, the Lair is down! But he's just gonna lose his third base to like a 4 zealot attack! Those zealots... Oh man, losing the... Losing one of the damaged zealots, but in comes another zealot! It's not over, man! Karate! It's not over, these zealots! Oh, the 7 kill zealot! Is he gonna survive? No, the 7 kills out goes down, and finally all the zealots do go down. The Hadri is actually down to under half life. But that is the end of that attack, uh, saving this one zealot. Now, the, the problem with that was, while it did a lot of damage, uh, that means that Dodi has, like, no army. So his, uh, any kind of mid-game push, um, or attempt to take map control will be severely delayed. However, if we take a look at the drone count, um, not that many drones, actually. Uh, usually 4-hatch is good because you get a ton of drones, but Karate was, uh, quite, quite damaged by that. He had to pull those two drones off of mining. He had to build a lot of zerglings. And another probe. Is he going to get down? It shouldn't. These are speedlings. Yep, it will get taken out. Um, and there we go. There is the drone production coming out. Um, I think actually Karate can drone a little bit more than usual. Uh, he can delay his Hydra production a bit because he knows that since Dodi sacrificed all those elves, he he's not like going to face any kind of huge mid-game attack. So, uh, like, like, I don't know the actual timings, but let's say, for example, normally in that build, you would start making Hydras at 45 food. Uh, he can probably delay it to, like, 50 or 55 food now, because he knows that um, Dodi's army won't be that big. So, you know, he can make up for it like that. But, uh, gonna lose one Overlord to that Corsair. He shouldn't lose any others. Um, he did get that lair quite quickly. I believe that's for Overlord speed. Um, I think that's that's pretty standard in, in the 4-hatch, but no, he's actually getting a Spore Colony. I don't really agree with this. Uh, at least the way Justin does it, uh, uh, he gets a pretty fast overload speed. No, he is getting lurkers! This is definitely not the 4-hatch I know. Wow, this is actually very interesting. Okay, uh, it will get scouted by the Corsair. Um, so he's actually going to use spores to defend this, but a bunch of speed lots, and by a bunch I mean six. However, considering how effective the previous speed lots were, those six, those six speed lots are quite terrifying, and the lurkers aren't finished yet. Where are the lurkers? They're still morphing. He's going after the hatchery! The drones are coming off! The hatchery's at 200 health! The lurkers are coming! 100 health! The hatchery goes down! Is he gonna save the zealots? They're not gonna get surrounded! Yes, he saves most of the zealots! Only, uh, he's actually rallied the zealots there, so he's gonna lose a few. Uh, he's gonna lose another one! Uh, two zealots going down. Yes. So he lost two zealots for the hatchery. He's actually, uh, hiding these zealots on the bottom left. So Dodi doing a fantastic job, the third base is down, Aspire is going down, but, uh, okay, Karate rebuilding his third base, but Karate, he's got to go attack with these lurkers, um, <laughs> this wall, <laughs> look at that, he has to put the cannon, like, all the way back there, this is, like, so bad, oh, man, and he's got a Stuck Dragoon, oh, Dodi, Dodi, man, you got to work on your building placement, oh, no, and looks like the Corsairs uh, are going to come in here, get a few extra kills, but, oh, how tragic. Oh, Dodie, Dodie. <laughs> Dodie, man. Come on, I, I love your Zelda attack, but you gotta figure out how to make your how to make your base, dude. Gotta figure it out. I mean, I mean, go go talk to Astro. He's got a pretty good base layout. He's got, like, the fancy gateway place. But here it comes! It looks like Karate's just going for a bust with uh, seven, six lurkers and a bunch of links. I don't know if this is going to work. That back cannon is actually going to be extremely crucial now because if all the cannons were at the front, you'd actually just kill them all at once. But it looks like, is he going to be okay? The lurkers are still alive, but that one back cannon is actually saving Dodi here. So Dodi, Dodi, never mind. Dodi's on top of the buildings, man. He's going to lose his gateway, obviously. But that one back cannon actually saved him. But no, never mind. There is an observer out. 
so uh, I think it would have been fine. In either case, this Corsair has four kills! A four kill Corsair! And these Zealots actually killed the Hatchery again! He's taking retaking the six o'clock, but I think uh, Karate's in big trouble right here. And here comes the bust out by Doty. Karate immediately pulling these lurkers back. A nice reaction time. But Karate is in so much trouble right now. He's still on two bases. The lurkers did not do nearly enough damage. He's lost so many overlords. How many kills does this guy have? Still four kills on that Corsair. And the lurkers and Lings looks like they're gonna try and kill those zealots, but no, the zealots smartly pulling back. It looks like Karate's actually gonna double expand. Uh, I think he actually does need to do something like like that um, in order to come back in this game. Now hopefully like he doesn't get another Dragoon stuck there because that would just be pretty silly. Um, anyway, throwing up a couple extra gateways. Uh, he's got his Templar tech up. I mean, he's in he's in pretty good shape right here. He's actually got a lot of cannons here at his natural um, in order to defend that that Lurker Ling bus. But it uh, looks like Overlord speed is done. And random Corsairs, I like this uh, constantly moving the courses around. Though he's very well aware of what's going on. This DT uh, is actually going to just chill with the army, but uh, he's got to be careful because his... Uh, Army composition is predominantly zealots, so these lurkers obviously will do a lot of damage. Oh, he's got to be careful. He, he's he's got to do. He's basically got to do like a, a TVZ style um, micro here. He's got to engage the lings, and then as soon as the lurkers borrow, he's got to back off. But what is this at the front? Uh, eight scourge. I don't know why he needs eight scourge. I mean, there are a number of courses out, but it looks like uh, this bottom left base. I hope it gets canceled in time. If he sees the forces, he needs to cancel it immediately. He's got, uh, like 15, he's got like 5 seconds actually. Oh, it does cancel it in time. But it looks like going for a huge counterattack. How much is there? Uh, 2 cannons, 3 cannons here in good positions. I wonder if he has any storms. It looks like those Templars just popped out of the gateway, so I don't think they will have storm. He needs to pull them back. A huge bust on the natural. I think he needs to pull these probes or they will get lurkered to death. The storm is finished, but it's a blank storm. He misses with one of his crucial storms. There's another storm. I hope he has a third one. Does he have a third storm? No, it looks like he used it. However, the cannons in the back are keeping him safe. I think this is the end. Only two lurkers left. Dodi has held this, and I think that will be GG uh, once it's over. All these scourge are hanging out. Actually, I think he wants to snipe observers. If he snipes the observers, uh, these lurkers will continue to do damage. But it looks like Dodi's actually not going to go and defend. Dodi's actually going to go uh, for a counterattack of his own. Look at this. Both armies actually running by each other. The reinforcement links running straight past the Protoss forces. Let's see. What does Karate have at home? He has absolutely nothing at home. He does have a hive. Why does he have a hive? I didn't even see him. Going straight for Ultralis Cavern. D Karate going for Ultras off two gas. Um, and not even really any mineral mining here. But it looks like the Lurkers will get cleaned up. The Observers getting scourged. But too late. The Lurkers died before the Observers could get scourged. So only links are remaining. And actually Dodi did pull back with his army now. So I think that's going to be the end. Karate actually taking a hidden base on the left position at the 9 o'clock position. Uh, but is... Oh my god. Stupid Scourge are stupid. <laughs> stupid. Alright. Alright. The Forge actually barely survives and continues to get plus 2 upgrade. Uh, I wonder if he can get sniped that. No, I don't think he can. Um, so, I mean, Dodi's still on two base and getting uh, kind of thin on his minerals, but he's got this giant army. And I don't know how Karate's going to defend this. Uh, oh, he's going to get some Templars! Oh, three high Templar! Three high Templar! Dodi! Dodi's not paying attention! Blame the laptop! Blame the touchpad! Oh, man, losing all three of his high Templar. But I don't think it matters. He's just going to break in the front. He's going to break in the front! He's breaking the front, ladies and gentlemen. He's breaking the front. He's got three observers. He doesn't care if he loses one. He's got, he's got two more. It's fine. It's fine. He's going in. There's only two Hydras. I don't see how uh, Karate can hope to defend this. He's got like eight Lings running around the back. Actually, for some reason, these units were like moving backwards. Uh, that is not that is not correct. And it looks like Dodi actually is setting up to take a third base, but it doesn't even matter. Karate cannot defend this. Uh, I think... Oh, is he just going to pop six Ultralisks? Oh, man. I think he's just going to pop six.